Welcome to the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen, where we share gourmet recipes at a low budget wonder. Now check this out. Starting with the meatballs, we're going to combine two pounds of ground beef with one pound of ground pork sausage. Mix this thoroughly and make sure it's completely incorporated. Now we'll add our ingredients. Starting with two eggs, an entire onion, some bell pepper and parsley, garlic, freshly chopped, about three cloves worth. Poison sauce. Tempura dipping sauce. Ketchup. Salt and pepper. Parmesan cheese. And some Ritz crackers. We're going to smash these up real good, and this will help glue it all together. A little bit of sriracha, which is Japanese rooster sauce. Thyme. And now we'll just get into it and mash all of our ingredients together till it looks like this. Now I've got some mini cupcake pans that are perfect for these meatballs. Just about an inch and a half size is all you need and plop it right there in the hole. Don't worry about taking a lot of time doing this. They'll stick together through the baking process. It'll work out just fine. I'm going to throw them in the oven at about 400 degrees for 20 25 minutes. Now for our sauce, I've got about six chopped Roma tomatoes I'm throwing in this blender here. Got some parsley, you can see I got a good handful. And some fresh basil. Just gonna break off a bunch of leaves here I can throw in there for flavor as well. Now for our dry ingredients, got some sage, some thyme, rosemary, this is a little bit of brown sugar. some oregano if I can ever get the lid going. There we go. We'll just shake it in there. Now this is a cup of beef stock. Add that to the blender and the rest of the garlic that we had left over from the meatballs. It's about two cloves worth. Now I'll go ahead and throw the lid on there and completely pulverize this mix. Just puree it. Now in a hot skillet, I've got some butter and I'm gonna add some green onion. 
soon as the butter's melted, we're going to add our puree, our tomato sauce. I want to bring this to a boil and reduce heat to medium. In another pan, we've got some boiling water, some salt, some olive oil. Get our pasta going. We're going to use angel hair pasta today, but you can use your favorite if you don't prefer this. Check on our meatballs. Oh yeah, that looks good. We're going to go ahead and pull these out now. And uh, we'll just throw them on the counter to cool off while we're finishing up our sauce and pasta. Now the noodles were only cooking to al dente. That means they still need to be firmed when we remove them from the water. Just drop them through a strainer, get it all out. See it's still kind of a tough noodle. You can see it's still a little bit straight, it hasn't completely softened out. We'll add a little bit of olive oil to it. And then what we're going to do to finish the cooking is we're going to add this directly to the sauce that I'm trying to reduce here in this pan. This will allow the noodle to absorb all this flavor and be a much richer tasting spaghetti. Once it's all incorporated, at this point I like to add a little of my favorite ingredients, a little more thyme, and a little bit of garlic powder. Now that's just my personal preference, just because I like it rich with that kind of flavor. And here after it's cooled off, I'm dumping in some chopped olives. There's no reason to cook those, they've already been cooked, that's why they're in a can. But they add a real good flavor to the spaghetti. Plating is a cinch, and yes I'm using my fingers. It's my plate, I'm going to eat it so it doesn't matter. <laughs> but as you can see, it looks pretty good, huh? A little bit of fresh parsley on top and she's ready to go. There you have it. Spaghetti with meatballs and angel hair pasta right here in the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen. Thank you for watching and be sure to stop by poormansgourmetkitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients.